This is the new version from Registar, a module from the GoodLock model suite guys that can be used to provide enhanced functionalities. What's new provides a backed up action feature as modes and routines action, but there is even more to this guys and in this video I'm going to showcase the power of Registar, also show you the latest functionalities added and hopefully you'll get a better understanding of what it is and how it can help you. But first things first, let's talk about Registar. Registar is just so much more than providing the back tap functionality that has been introduced by Apple and also of course adapted by Google for Android. So you can use the Registar application to fine tune your settings, also the way you search inside them and also create shortcuts for settings, which is really insane guys, because this is really key functionality. If you are one person like myself to tap with your phone, this is really unprecedented power in your hands. You can also configure the side button to do whatever you want guys. So in this video, I'm going to guide you through all of this because it's important to highlight these things. Those things are little cogwheels that turn the big wheel of One UI and makes it one of the best operating system, at least on a mobile. So buckle up, Start for the channel and let's start. The latest version of Registar is 1039 and it provides some new functionality. Backed up action feature as a modes and routines action. But I wanted to start from the whole beginning guys and showcase the power of Registar. So once you have good luck, the Registar will be available in the live app. You always guys, always make sure to use the latest version. So how do you know? Once you're inside, just click about register. If there is an update, guys, you're gonna get notified. Now, once you're inside register, the menu will not look so fancy, and you might think that this is indeed not powerful, but let me show you, it is indeed very, very powerful. Now, the first option here is to customize your settings home. So guys, what does this mean? When you toggle this on, you can click inside and you can reorder all of your settings. Now let me just show you guys, if I just do like this and I save it, once I am back in my settings menu, you will see that the connected devices now are above my connections, okay? If I am to switch this off, all right, and yeah, just return, boom, I'm getting back to the stock mode. So if there are any settings that you would like to use guys, um, something that is really quicker for you at hand, this is for you. But we don't really stop only here. If you go back to the customize your settings home, guys, you are also able to show your name or your nickname. Now, if I'm to click my name and I go back to my settings, guys, you can just see, I can see my full name. Uh, now I can click the nickname, so I go back, guys, and you can just see my nickname. And of course, you have also the options to hide or unhide the email. And this is just even barely scratching the tip of the iceberg. The other things that you can do with Registar are just insane. Go inside settings, change history, guys. You can either enable or disable this, but let me show you, you can just see what exactly has happened. You can also set notification to just understand and have a better control if some of your application system or not system one are changing some of your settings. So this can give you some advanced information on the usage. Also, of course, on the permissions. Now guys, the other thing, click the search options. Now let me show you something. If I go back to the menu, settings, right, and I start searching for volume, I'm gonna get all the results and now they will be grouped by all the respective menus like accessibility, sound and vibration whatsoever. But if you go inside the search option, guys, you click the display policy and you can go and select accuracy and boom, now you're going to get them represented like this. It's really more accurate because it exactly searches for what you want. Myself, I choose the menu order because it's a bit more simplistic for me. But guys, let me show you something else. If I go for accuracy and I allow the creation of a shortcuts, everything that you see here, like side and volume up keys, guys, you can just click it and you can place a shortcut on your desktop. So now, boom, and directly with this shortcut, guys, I am gonna go in this menu, see here, even this is going to get animated. So this is one of the many powers from One UI. And this is why One UI is probably the best mobile operating system out there. I'm now back in my menu, guys. I can see the recent searches and also some suggestions via tax. If you don't like tax, guys, just select this, go back and boom, no tax. See, the level of customization here is just insane and 
I can really say now that we probably scratched a bit the tip of the iceberg. Now let me show you something else before we get to the good stuff guys. Side key press and hold action. Now what will happen if I just hold my side key? I'll turn off the flashlight. Holding it will turn it off. But the options here are so many. Take and share a screenshot. I'm gonna now hold the side key. Boom! Screenshot has been taken. And guys, also the share menu is going to get open and you can here customize. You want to get like a basic screenshot or even share it. Now, something else guys, mute or unmute all the volumes. Holding it, boom, all the volumes are muted. Unholding it <laughs> or holding it one more time, we'll get all my volumes back. Show recent application. So you're now on your home screen, holding it, boom. You are inside your recent application, no gesture whatsoever. And just have in mind that whatever you set here will take priority over the global settings from the menu. So use this with caution, guys. And now we can spend some time on the backed up action. And you know what, guys? I'm actually gonna show it to you. So I'm opening my Telegram, guys. All right, so I'm here in one of my chats. I double tap the phone and my Telegram directly is going, guys, to be put in a pop-up mode. Then I triple tap my phone, guys, and immediately YouTube is going to start. So powerful this is. And all of this is controlled via the backed up action. So you can either switch it on and off. You can set up the double tap with crazy options. Start applications in pop-up window, show notifications, show the recent stuff. Okay, let me just show you guys. A double tap right now will bring me all my recent applications, although my favorite one is to start the pop-up window for any application that is right now active. We have also the option to get the event detection notification. I turned them off because they're very annoying. And guys, you have also the options gate lock, which means you can pause the backup when you're either in power saving mode or let's say you want to save some battery or when your device is locked, which kind of makes sense. And now finally, this will allow me to show you here the new functionality from the version 1039. Provides backed up action feature as modes and routine sections. So guys, let me show you something. You go inside your settings, you click on your modes and routines. I created already one. And what we can do here guys, from change settings, you are now able to check and use the backed up action. Let me give you an example, guys. So right now, if I turn it off, my backed up action, you can just see it's not working. If I turn this routine off, guys, my backed up action is working. As you can just see, I was able to start YouTube with triple tapping and double tap will put YouTube here in a split screen. You can only imagine the power of this, combining it with all other different criteria. And uh, using this in the modes and routines as an action, that backed up action was not possible with the previous version. So this here is indeed new functionality and I'm really happy that you stayed until the end of the video just understanding how big the potential here is. Guys, I really hope that you've liked the video. If that's the case, don't hesitate. Leave a like down below, guys. And stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. And with that said, PST over and bye.